Muhammad Adele Kabi dropping a very short rant. One of my brothers asking me a very important question about how to move on with his business. And I told him that first thing is to have a goal, which I know he has. But there is this wrong thing about goal. But this uh, this answer to how to actually move on. The question is how can he move on in his business? How can he get more results? In his business, I can spend less time and make more money. And I know many of us that have been watching this video ask the same uh, the question. Think about this always. Uh, the foundation is very important. The matter, it doesn't matter your current state, everybody needs money. And uh, what is somebody else's dream is somebody's, somebody else's last milestone. Some people are praying to buy a car. Somebody is planning to buy private jets. So, because everybody's face is, is different. Some people are planning to leave Port Harcourt. Some people are planning to come to Port Harcourt from the village. Why should everyone to go to UK? So, everybody's goal is different at a particular point. But the first thing that matters when we are setting goal is to set goal that has to do firstly our purpose on this planet. Why are we even created? That's the first thing that we need to first set goal on. The second is that you should not now jump to, you should not jump to business. You should also look at other things that matter: family, health, relationship. Then business should not be the last. It does not mean that all the time, or all the resources, or all the thinking will be about the first three areas. The business should now have small. Is that because we know we cannot avoid the business? Let's assume we have about uh, 16, let's assume we have about 24 hours in a day. And you know you have to sleep averagely for 8 hours. So you have 16 hours left. So if you want to plan for your day, it does not mean that you actually, for example, taking spiritual first means that you are going to use 8 hours for your spiritual. You can end up using just 2 hours. And the business you plan for last, you can end up using 10 hours for it. But you filling up your day, let me say week. Week could be more practical because uh, with that is weekend, the way weekend flow is different and mood actually change. It's for us to, let's just want to plan for your week. First, fill up important things in the week that's non negotiable, like time you have to spend with your children, time you have to spend with your spouse, time you have to spend on spirituality. When I say spirituality, can be that, okay, maybe every Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to do this, I have to do spirituality, or if you are a Muslim, every Friday I have to go to Jumat. You first fill up all those things that you cannot negotiate. One is your spirituality, your spiritual routine, you cannot negotiate it. Secondly, your time with your family, maybe once in a week. And if you are planning for a month, maybe twice in a month, if you not plan for all other aspects, then you not design your life to, you don't, don't design your business in a way that it's, you now design your life in a way that the business, your life controls the business, not that the business controls your life. That if you you have a schedule that no matter what happens, so every Wednesday, six to seven, you have to check your children assignments. They have to design all your schedule for that week in a way that once it's six o'clock to seven, you have to check your children assignments. So that is, this is like fundamental information.